have some paper assignments that you want to turn into a docent? I'll show you how. Download the free app Scannable in the App Store. We'll be using this app to convert the paper copies into digital files that we can then use with Docent EDU. To get good results, make sure you're working in a well-lit area and take your time. You'll be able to scan multiple images into the same file, so go through and scan maybe about 10 pages at one time. When you're done with your scanning, you now have the option of going through and making any changes that you need to. We'll then want to click on the Share, and from here, if you're signed into Google Drive, you can automatically upload the final PDF directly to your folder. And then you're done. Now we'll move over to Google Docs. In Google Drive, you'll now see your PDF in the folder. Click on that and then the menu option, and you'll want to open this with Google Docs. What this will do is Google Docs will now go through and look at that image identify the text and turn it into actual text that we can use. Here you can see that everything but the image is turned out pretty well. Um, you'll want to go through and just double check everything, make sure that the spelling and there's nothing that left out, but in my experience it's worked pretty well. Now I do want to keep this image, so what I can do is double click on this um, the big text image up at the top and that gives me the option to now crop this one. So I'm going to crop it and cut out that text what Google Docs does is it gives you a screenshot and then the converted text. So you can then resize, crop, modify any of these images. You'll also notice on this page that the fonts uh, and the font size are a little bit different and they're not always consistent. So I'm just going to clean up this document a little bit um, and I'll just kind of give them all about the same font size. The end result is that then you'll have a doc that looks very uniform uh, and ready to be used with Docent EDU. Down here with all of these odd things, this is the text that Google Docs found with the image, uh, but I'm now going to replace this with the actual image right there. So my document's looking pretty good. I spent a little bit more time cleaning up that one down at the bottom. I'll just delete that screenshot. And now what we'll do is we will publish this Google Docs. Click on File, Publish to Web, and then Publish. What this does is gives you essentially a website version of your Google Docs. So you don't have to worry about any kind of sharing or anything like that. Copy that special published URL and then open that up in a new tab. Now that we have a published Google Doc, load the Docent EDU browser extension. And now you can begin turning this into a fully interactive, engaging online lesson, embedding your assessments, discussions, videos, insight that you want to give your students. To assign it, click on the Docent EDU icon, select your class. From here, you can also directly assign your lessons to your students through Google Classroom. Thank you for watching and let us know what you would like to see next.